Mr. 40% cut money, minister who has been accused of taking 40% cut money has now resigned. After defiance, party has forced Mr. Ishwarappa to step down. Make, I mean, this is, there is absolutely no doubt about this. This is not his own decision. The party forced him to because he was defiant all this while. There were allegations which were hurting the BJP's anti-corruption image. Because the Congress mounted a political campaign against Mr. Ishwarappa. FIR names the Karnataka minister for abetting the contractor suicide. But the story is not over with his resignation because so far no corruption FIR has been filed against Ishwarappa. What was the original allegation? Corruption. There is no FIR. Is this a case of BJP's belated damage control? Because now contractors are saying, what about allegations of cut money in other departments? Forget just this one department, not just Mr. Ishwarappa. What about the allegations of other departments? And let's now get you an exclusive uh, interview with the Chief Minister of Karnataka, Mr. Bomai. We asked him these questions. Our colleague uh, Shrija asked him this question on what really is the reason or the compulsion. This interview was recorded in the, in the afternoon where we asked him this question. Why is he not resigning and what about the allegations of corruption? Listen in. With regard to your own sitting minister, with regard to the allegations, will there be anything, uh, you know, will you all be taking a decision on that? Of no, no. See, now, yesterday the post-mortem is over. There is a preliminary, a preliminary inquiry is going on. Let the preliminary inquiry begin. And uh, de depending on the preliminary inquiry, other things will follow. Are you getting any pressure from the high command, from the Delhi? No, 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 no. I am not under any pressure. No pressure from and, the and, Delhi? And there is uh, nothing to do with high command. It is all purely on the investigation and preliminary investigation, all will be taken. So, uh, without any interference, don't you think it's a must to actually at this point in time to remove uh, Mr. Ishwarappa so that see, there's no see, interference? See, what you think or I think is not important. What is the fact of the case is important. I would like to introduce our guests uh, this evening. We've got Tanvir Ahmed, National Spokesperson of the JDS, PKD Nambiar, BJP supporter and Professor Gaurav Vallabh uh, is also with us. Thank you. Uh, all of you all. Mr. P.K.D. Nambiar, I'll begin with you first. Fine, under pressure, under duress, after much cajoling, coaxing, the, the minister of your government in Karnataka, Mr. Ishwarappa, the very tall BJP leader Ishwarappa, after open defiance, has today kindly agreed to resign and he will do that tomorrow. But the point is, Mr. Nambia, that even now, there is no corruption case against him. There is no FIR, which was the sole, the basic reason why Santosh Patil died by suicide. Corruption. Is this some sort of an escape, escape mechanism where you are helping Mr. Ishwarappa to wriggle out? I think, uh, Sanketji, the first part is that you, you said that the BJP is a party with a difference and zero tolerance to corruption. I think this is... No, what I is said the, there was this image of the Prime Minister where he kept saying, na khaunga, na khane dunga. I, Will that take a big beating? At least in the last eight years or in the 20 years of the, uh, Mr. the Prime Minister's uh, public life, we all have seen that he means to that to completely and he has proven that in the last 20 years in his public life that na khate hai, na khane dete hai. I think one thing which is, which is very clear in in Karnataka in the uh, during the Congress uh, government, uh, K. G. George, uh, the, the former Home Minister of Karnataka, had to resign after two months. It took. It is not even four days. The minister has taken a decision to quit or resign. That clearly says that may, may, BJP may I come is in? truly you truly see, a no no one moment. That, you know, you've been happening you know, in an earlier broadcast also on a sister channel. You said, look how fast and swiftly that the BJP has acted, that the government has acted, not waited, not batted an eyelid. The point is, had you acted swiftly on the repeated complaints and letters of Santosh Patil, he would not have been dead. He died because uh, nobody was listening to him. May I? Yes. So the idea, idea is that an allegation... Anybody can throw an allegation to each other. I can put an allegation to Gauravji or a Sanketji or anybody at any point of time. There may be a due process for any kind of an allegation. There are doubts. In fact, there were a couple of uh, information which was uh, in the public domain in the last three, four days that 
is that only purely because of this 40 percentage so called you have even declared that mr 40 percentage if tomorrow if the same issue of uh, turn out to be after the an inquiry there was no uh, 40 percentage even the issue of i was uh, till yesterday no, by the way, by the way because you have, have, have alleged no, let me I'm just tell you saying that I am only saying corruption is not acceptable. Whomsoever is doing it, whether it is an Ishwarappa or a BJP the, government or Congress government, it doesn't matter. This but word has been given to you. This title, a, this title has been given to you by the Congress party, not NDTV. Okay. But I think you, unfortunately, you also have been uh, no. stressing. No. If you look at the screen, this it. is in Let quotes. It's being attributed. Because, you because can't fault me on, on the tools of journalism, <laughs> Mr. Nambia. We are attributing, <laughs> no, no. We are attributing this that, comment from where it belongs. Okay, Professor Gaurav Allab, you see the point is that so far, under great pressure, Mr. Ishwarappa has offered to resign. He will resign tomorrow. But so far, no FIR in the corruption charges and no probe right now as of this moment on all the allegations that have been made by the Contractors Association. In fact, as you were telling me earlier, Contractors Association members have gone on to allege that the cut money goes right up to the chief minister's office. Sanket, my first point is that कि कल का कोई मोहरत है क्या? चोर चोरी कर रहा और उसको पकड़ने का भी मोहरत होता है क्या? I don't think Sanket we have this type of mechanism that I will resign tomorrow as if he is doing some great service to the country. He is a forty percent commission guy who had uh, who, 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 because of him, one BJP Karyakarta committed suicide. Now the BJP news slogan is Khub Khaunga or Apne Karyakarta Ko Marne Dunga. We had two, three fundamental questions. Ishwarappa's belated resignation is, is too little, too late. And we demand number one that FIR should be registered under the Prevention of Corruption Act so that he should be immediately arrested. He is not doing favor to the nation that I will resign tomorrow as if I am taking oath tomorrow. You are a culprit because of you, because of your 40% cut, your own worker is committing suicide. You are not ashamed of yourself, Mr. Rappa. You should resign immediately and Karnataka CM should arrest him immediately under the Prevention of Corruption Act, number one point. Number two point, uh, Sanket, this is not my statement. Karnataka had a rate card. That if you want PWD work, 43%. If you want Panchayati Raj work, 44%. And above all, there is a 5% special cut which directly goes to the Chief Minister's office. And this is not what Congress Party is saying. This is what was alleged by the President of the Contractors Association of Karnataka. And they are they are giving all the proofs. If, if the Chief Minister is in not is having a contrary evidence to this, why he is not filing a defamatory case against the president of the Karnataka Contractors Association. We demand that the High Court monitored SIT should must investigate. The okay, Chief High Court monitored office, SIT the, says the Congress party. But the point is this question will be asked of you, Chief Mr. Namya, that, that why, why is it that uh, on allegations of corruption, we still do not have neither an FIR nor an investigation. Mr. Tanvir Ahmed, do you also uh, demand the same? That if the original complaint was of 40% cut and he is an accused named in a suicide note of demanding that 40% cut money, he and his associates, then the least that is expected is an FIR probing the corruption allegations. The FIR right now is only in the abetment to suicide case. And also Sanket. what about the other cases, other departments? Sanket, I think we all need to really understand what is happening here in Karnataka. It is not only Ishwarappa's case. Corruption is absolutely rampant in every department. And we all need to really understand why is this four days of drama which uh, 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 Mr. Ishwarappa took uh, to resign. This is not something which we need to really uh, 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 just uh, wishy-wash because Ishwarappa is a very, very powerful man. He was the deputy chief minister. He understands how the system works. He was absolutely, for last four days, he was trying to remove all the evidences. Four days working in the department. See, I, I come from political background. I was an advisor to the former chief minister. I really understand how it works. For last four days, Mr. Ishwarappa was not doing a favor, not shouting and screaming. He was scared 
and he was doing every single possible thing within his power as the panchayat raj minister to remove all the evidences this is just mr kempan now who is the contractors association president had clearly said no so what is your allegation come on this is very serious you are saying that mr ishwarappa before resigning has destroyed <clears throat> evidence in his own department sanket uh, how things work in the department first before giving a contract there is a procedure so they were trying to remove all the procedures from the system of the system signatories so that tomorrow it will come that this man who died was no, an but idiot but this will he this will appear to be a wild political allegation would you have uh, i mean is this is this what you believe must have happened or do you have proof to substantiate sanket uh, actually you know uh, journalists like you who are sitting outside the system really think that you know uh, a minister is 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 somebody who can't really they can really change a lot of things this is exactly what mr ishwarappa was given four days time that do this and then okay so you are saying is exactly use the four days time to uh, to tamper with the evidence destroy evidence so that nothing nothing ever gets proven more Ikedi. than ishwarappa uh -huh. all the all the uh, all the ministers in his okay. department P all the P officers in his department pkd nambya into... don't you think that okay. it becomes extremely important for the sake of your image the image of when the party you, you, you support that you carry out an independent probe and very it's quickly the problem it's the problem of the kind of sunglasses uh, the congress and the jds and the opposition party is wearing hmm. they look at everything see, and Mr. they will see PKD only in that direction he is a supporter he is not a spokesperson of a party he doesn't understand saying, politics i don't think I, you know uh, you, need, you need to get somebody serious you need to get a bjp spokesperson to speak about bjp what does pkd know about bjp Does he know anything about the system? He is not even an official. Let me, let, let him answer. You, you can't really have a person. Let him answer. Who is who is just a supporter? What do you mean by supporter? I have been invited. There are there are about a million supporters sitting. Who are you? Who are you, Tanvi Ramad? You you invited me to this show. Who no, are Mr. 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 Tanvi? In all fairness, no, no. Let me let me intervene here. Let me intervene, Mr. Tanvi. We have invited him to present the views of the BJP, and he is doing it in whatever capacity he holds. His opinion matters over here. Everybody's view matters, please. Yes. From street to represent BJP. I think we are digressing. Let's let's listen into what he has to say, Mr. Tanvi. you can talk I, about the credentials I, later pkd nambya so let me let, let me tell you one thing that i don't generally get, get get into the people who don't matter either in politics or in public life at all i do matter and that let, is let's stick to the here. subject so let me tell you the let yes. me tell you oh, the people not, like stick to the subject like please please nobody yes. so, no. i uh, sanket just let me tell you today for an example uh, when uh, when the congress chief of karnataka Uh, is the person who is out on a bail who just came out of uh, the, the jail for a money laundering and the corruption cases and you are talking and putting up all the blame on bjp or for that matter to any party if there was a corruption charges if there was some kind of an issue what is the you expect from the government the government should take an uh, file an fir the government should take an action if the minister is somewhere feeling even if it is in public life anybody who has got a iota of doubt on them they should quit i am for that and if that minister has decided to quit rather than uploading the party rather no, what, what than what what applaud that's exactly the point what, what applaud you are asking me you are, you are selling a resignation <coughs> as some know. paragon of virtue mr nambiar <laughs> this resignation has come after 2 to 3 days of defiance <laughs> this resignation still does not answer the basic question what about the corruption fir and also okay, an independent probe on the various charges the the allegations of the, the contractors association who by the way should ideally be subservient to your government no, no, but they are up in arms in the, in the 70 years of indian india's post independence various governments across the country tell me how many instances on an allegation in the second moment how many instances the ministers have resigned i you know we have uh, we answered one. this in the past also the point no, no, is i'm just telling you how many the allegation so of the corruption it is very calm. the allegation it of it corruption was number. there for, for over a month sanket may i the, the, the minister uh, the, the party allegation i've run out of time but the point is, is, is let us not sell this is. as some great quick decision that the bjp has taken the allegation of corruption was there in the public domain each and every one in the bjp was informed about it and because no action happened is why santosh patil had to die by suicide so this is action which is late 
Let's be very clear about that. Thank you very much for joining us sure. on this discussion. News continues on the other side. Stay with us.